All set? All right. Let's stand to our feet. The book of Ezekiel 37 verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and he brought me out by the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of the valley. He was full of bones. He caused me to pass among them round about and behold there were very many on the surface of the valley. Lo, they were dry. He said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered and said, O Lord, you know your plan. Stretch your hands because I see the hand of God coming mightily upon us. That He is going to fashion our lives and make us the answers for the world so that the needs of men and women everywhere can be met. But He is going to put first His hand upon our life and begin to bring about change because He doesn't want you to become part of the, part of the valley. He wants you to recreate the valley. You're not part of the project. You're the agent to bring change. So God's hand is coming heavy upon our lives even from now till we return back to our city. The hand of God is going to continually stretch itself. Something supernatural is going to happen deep in your heart. Because He wants you to carry the material, not just, just see the vision of a valley that is dry. But God wants you to know that He's going to give you all the provision, He's going to give you the needed things, so that when He set you in the valley of dry bones, you'll not become part of the problem. Become part of the answer. Yes. Become the agent of change. Yes. Going to become the man that God is, will, will be able to release the materials in yes. and bring about change. So hand of God is heavy upon you this hour. Yes. I can see the spirit of God coming heavily, yes. demanding obedience, yes. demanding accuracy, yes. demanding ac accountability in our life. Yes. So that we can stay true to the connection of the chain of command. Yes. And all that God is saying to us and wanting to do within our lives can be done so he's going to put his hand mighty the reshaping the reforming of your life is going to continue with great intensity God said to me that I'm going to work a deeper work in the hearts of men and women I begin to allow the Spirit of God to reshape them reform them renew their thinking renew their mind so that when they stand in the valley of dry bones they know exactly what to do the, the inner knowing of God's plan and God's purpose is going to come strong upon your heart you don't have to stand in confusion. You're going to stand with accuracy. You don't have to look at the valley of dry bones and think what can be done, what cannot be done. What he knows, he's going to let you know. I say what God knows, he's going to let you know. Can these bones live? You say, oh Lord, I know. I know that you know. And what God knows is what you're going to know. So the strategies are going to be unfolded. I'm telling you, it cannot be unfolded unless it comes from above. God knows why He set you in the valley. He knows why He put you in the valley. He knows exactly what He can do. And that mind of God is going to be given to you. Oh Lord, you know. And what He knows is what you're going to know. You're going to stand in the domain, in the valley of dry bones, and not be afraid at all. Because God's going to let you know that when He set you there, He's given you a permanent place. It's God who set us in places. He set some apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers in their house, but he's also going to set men and women in their domain, yes. put them in the right place, in the right hour, yes. so that the hand of God can be strong upon your life. Yes. I sense within the spirit, if you allow God to touch you, change you and fashion you, yes. then he's going to set you in. Yes. And when he give you place and he set you in and begin to allow you to stay in that place, it's because God has given the place to you. Yes. It's not man who appoints you, but God is going to set you in the place. Yes and allow you to stay in that place and become more and more accurate. So the strength of God is going to come upon you. Can you say amen to that? When you look at the valley of dry bones and say, what am, why am I here? What am I doing in this place? God said you are there you're representing Him. The materials that He has placed inside your heart is going to be materials that the, the valley would need. And you're going, to, you're going to prophesy because that's the material. You're going to speak to the winds. You're going to speak to the bones. You're going to speak to the flesh. There's going to be a great noise, just like the day the Bible say how the Holy Spirit came, like a violent rushing wind. It was a noise like a violent rushing wind. There's going to be a lot of movements on planet Earth. There's going to be a lot of movements in planet Earth as you stand, stand in your domain, stand in your church, and stand in the plane that God wants you. You're going to speak the word, and bone is going to come to bone. Flesh is going to come to flesh. Things are going to fall in place in an unusual way. God is going to 
take the bones together and begin to fashion them until an exceeding army rises. Yes. An army that is ready to finish the assignment. Yes. An exceeding great army will rise on the horizon. Yes. But you are part of God's plan. Yes. But you must function as part of God's plan. Yes. You're going to be the one that's going to bring that, that fulfillment of God's word about. Yes. Because He set you there because He knows that He can do something through your life. Yes. That's why don't be afraid. You're not set in the valley so that you'll be covered up by all the bones and all the mud and all the dust. No, you are not. You are part of the material from heaven. I said you are the one that God's going to use to reorganize and change the valley of dry bones. It may be very dry, but you don't have to be afraid because what God is going to put in your spirit, what He's going to tell you to do, what He's going to tell you to speak, is going to change the entire material. So what looks like mess is not going to be mess. What looks like chaos won't be chaos. God is going to bring order into it. He's going to bring life into it. So get ready because the hand of God is heavy upon your life. He wants you for himself. He is a creator God. But he is allowing you to enter to recreate des destinies in people's hearts. He wants you to recreate the Sunday school. He wants you to recreate the youth world. He's going to send you to recreate the entire environment. So that God will have an exceeding great army. Can you say amen to that? Yes. And this is the grace that God's going to give to you. Yes. He's going to fashion you. Yes. He's going to make you strong. He's going to put the materials into your heart. Yes. And then He's going to set you in the valley of dry bone. Yes. When He sets you, no man can take that place. Yes. That's your place. Yes. The world cannot compete for that place. Yes. Powers of hell cannot compete for the place. Yes. Because God set you in the valley. Yes. It's not the valley of death. It's the valley of life. Yes. Because you're a life giver. You're not one that's going to be consumed by all the, un, the un, wicked things that are happening in the environment, but you'll rise up to change it. Yes. I'm telling you, you're going to become the agent of change. Yes. The hand of God's coming heavy upon you, yes. but as you open your mouth and begin to speak, bone will come to bone, yes. flesh will come to flesh. Yes. Don't ask how. I said, don't ask how. Yes. God's word will make that happen. Yes. God's word will begin to come and begin to bring bone out of bone bone from the valley until all the bones are settled. You may not know how to get this thing organized, but God says, speak my word, declare my word. As my word begins to go out, I'm going to bring bone out from this place and another bone out from that place, and I'll bring it together until a whole exceeding army will rise. You may not know, but God knows. And what He knows is going to give to you. This is one of the most powerful dimensions that's going to come upon the church. Many times we have a gap in knowledge. We have a learning gap. We don't know what to do. We, we can see, we can hear, but we just don't know exactly what to do. But God's going to fill that gap. I say He's going to fill that gap. He's going to let you know what He knows so that there's a clear strategy in your mind for the things that is about to happen. I say this is going to be powerful. So when you go back, I want you in your heart become excited because of the things that God has begun. He's putting His hand heavy upon you. He's putting his material inside you. He's beginning to give you a space no man can take away. He's giving you the courage to speak as the Lord would want you to speak. Don't compromise the message. Don't compromise what God has put in your mouth. Because what you're going to speak is going to be the material for a new creation. We're going to take out of every valley a mighty army. Are you listening? Out of every valley we're going to raise up a mighty army. So out of every valley of death and valley of confusion, valley of decision, God's going to allow you to speak so that out of it will come forth the mighty army, exceeding great army, and the Spirit of God will enter. Can you say amen to that? God is sending you into the valleys of dry bones. So get ready because it's our commission. You say to yourself, why God sending us into the place? Because you're the only one who can do it. I say you're the only one who can do it. He's putting his hand upon you because he's made a choice. God has decided that you will take the city. I say God has concluded that you will take the city. God has concluded you will change the region. God has concluded the place He's sending you is the right place. God has concluded that when He send you, you will not fail. God has also concluded that what you create through His word and through His life, He will send the Holy Spirit to fill it. The Bible said there was an exceeding great army, but the breath of God was not there. God will confirm what you will by putting His breath upon it. I'm telling you that what, as you start to speak, things will begin to find its place. 
and going to be an exceeding great army and God's going to crown it with his Holy Spirit. He's going to crown it with the fresh move of the Holy Ghost. Can you say amen to that? I'm praying that God will take you to the next level. By the time we meet each other, whether it's in gear, those of you will be meeting us in gear in, in September or in November, does not matter. But whenever we, we meet together, there's going to be a sharpening of things. Iron sharpens iron, fire sparks another measure. So let me put this in context for you. Let his hand be heavy. Let his hand fashion us. We cannot be fashioned unless we allow his hand to be strong upon our life. Come under his, come under his covering. Come under his discipline. Come under his protection. Let his hand come heavy upon our lives so that we become the man that God wants us to be. And then God can set us in the valley. Nobody can take our place. God can put the materials in our hearts so that we can start to replace dry, dry bones with life. Are you listening? And this valley is going to rise up such an extent that all the people that need to come out will come out. And the Holy Spirit will fill them. If you think your church is like a valley of dry bones, then begin to respond in that same manner. Whether it's your domain, whether it's your nation, God's going to turn things around for, you, for His glory. So stretch your hands this morning. Let me pray that God will give you the know-how. Oh Lord, you know. That's what I said to him this morning. Oh Lord, you know. And God said, what I know you are going to know. What I see you be going to see. What I hear you are going to hear. And you are going to speak like me. As the Lord God lives before whom I stand. There will be neither word nor rain except by my word. Because you are standing in his presence and you are becoming his message. God is saying to you, you stood in GLS and heard and heard, and heard his message until you become the message. Be the carrier of that word. Let the message go on. Let what God has spoken to you align you, adjust you, and make you right and make you accurate so that you can be an accurate message to an inaccurate generation. You can be live in the generation of death. You can be live in the valley of, life, of, of death. All the decline and decay that's going down, but you will turn things around. So God has, God has put an inheritance in you so that you will succeed and not fail. The hand of God be heavy. Right now, I pray for supernatural blessing into every pastor, every leader, all those that attended, those who are still remaining, and those who are on their way home. That the Spirit of God will begin to grant them a new sense of destiny, a new sense of life. I pray right now, Father, stretch your hands right now. I pray that the Spirit of Revelation and <coughs> Spirit of revelation and wisdom will come mighty upon your heart. That you will know exactly what to do. When you wake up in the morning, when you sleep at night, the thoughts of God will align your thoughts. And the, and the purposes of God will become clearer and clearer. And enlarge capacity, increase capacity. So rejoice in your heart because God will set you in that place. And not allow you to be moved. Because he's given you space. He's given you the pathway. He's given. He's telling you, I set you there. No man can unsettle you. I set you there. That's your appointment. That's your. That's your agenda. That's that's your. That's your appointment and approval from heaven. And when you do that, the Holy Spirit will use you and flow through your life in ways that never you have never understood is possible. God is saying all things are going to be possible. If you're going to go out of this place believing that the things that He has spoken concerning you is true. Let that inner strength rise within your heart. And then when you go back to your city, blow the horn. Because of what God has done in your heart and life, send out the frequencies. There will be a new generation rising, coming in a supernatural way. Receive the hand of God's grace. Receive the power of the Holy Spirit in a fresh new way that this will be the beginning. Do not be afraid anymore. It's time to take over. It's time to cross over. It's time to see the walls come down. It's, it's time to see the giants flee. Yes. It's time to see the, the river part. Yes. It's time to see a fresh revelation of God coming down yes. upon your heart that the fear and terror of God yes. will be on the nations of the world. Yes. The fear and terror of God will be on the nations of the world yes. because the great people are rising. Yes. The great and mighty people are rising. Yes. These are the ones that God has called them to greatness. Yes. And God said this is the hour and time that supernatural things will begin to happen. I want you to stretch your hands and begin to 
Lift up Nigeria.